Director Ernie Liu with Pirates of the University. Actually, where you sit, where you reel me on is a kind of a webcam type of thing. It's actually a very good webcam. I definitely recommend it for you people. Um, I don't know the makeup model of it, but you just gotta let me know. Anywho, this is a this is sort of the uh, the vlog version of Battle of the Bloopers here. So, anywho, the this is Battle of the Bloopers where you guys decide at home what is the best, what is the best blooper Pirates of the University has ever produced. Now, as you can see with yesterday's part one, you can see that basically Fitzwilliam helping Jack Sparrow and the school board won the battle on Monday, and now it's going to be moving on to the quarterfinals. Actually, to be honest with you, uh, Peter Tork did not steal their footage, and, John I's comp and all my footage wasn't on John I's computer. Actually, what happens is that I was filming a uh, short film with my nephew, CJ. It was actually written by one of our writers, Danielle. And uh, we were shooting that all yesterday. It's actually premiering next weekend, coming up. And it'll be premiering during uh, a, a convention in East Secaucus, New Jersey, called Anime Next. And speaking of Anime Next, you can check out the fans' POV on, uh, our Ad on Ad of Times youtube channel which is uh youtube.com slash user slash out of time productions you can check that out it'll be more info at the end of it but anywho that this is not the fans pov this is battle of the bloopers where we'll give you four bloopers and you decide which is the best one out of all of them now now we got all of that out of the way here's the first blooper coming right up this one um it takes place in the first season and it's actually takes place in chris's old um Chris's old uh, dorm room, and what it is is that uh, Jack Sparrow answers the door and basically sees that it's Gene and Tubman, and this is the first time we actually see them converge together. Now, there were a couple scenes where there were a couple times where they played pranks on me because I was Jack Sparrow and they had to and Ray and Phil were playing their parts, and you'll see what I mean. We actually actually this episode will feature both of those bloopers, and with these two bloopers, you can actually see two angles. One from our extra cameraman, extra camera person, I'm sorry, Chrissy Lawler. It will be on the left side of your screen. I think that's it. Yeah, the left side of the screen. And then my view will be on the right. You'll see it on the bottom there, whose uh, camera it is on. But anyways, this is blooper number one, Jack Answers. Hey, hey Jack! <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for it. <laughs> if he wasn't gonna come in there, I wonder what I would. It's still recording. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> right, ready? Alright, so that was blooper number one there, Jack Answers. Now, as you can see, we had the two different angles going, and I was just laughing so much because it was one of those I didn't suspect it, but I should have suspected it. But that was blooper number one, Jack Answers. Now, blooper number two comes from season number two. <laughs> that was kind of ridiculous, I know. Uh, it comes from season two, and it's actually from Mr. John O'Dell, who plays, um, what was his name again? Peter Tork, that was his name, yeah. John O'Dell, who plays him, and this is the scene where Peter Tork and Eliz uh, converge with Elizabeth and Will. And it's actually featured in one of the end of the episodes, I think it was episode three, if I remember correctly, but... It's sort of a, a long tangent that Odell went on, and basically half of the, basically everybody on set pretty much got scared because they had no idea what they were talking about. Much I'm pretty much doing right now. Hey, it's 2:20 in the morning. Leave me alone. So, this is called Lurking in the Shadows, blooper number two. Okay. Are you second rate? Actually, no. But it's always good to be prepared. You never know what's lurking in the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> Odell, what? Can, you, can you do me a favor and hold still real quick? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, it, it's like, it looks like rain. That, 
Was that scene with the ninja good? Was that? Yeah, that was good. But the rest yeah, of it was like, what so, the hell okay. just happened? So I want. All right, so that was blooper number two there, lurking in the shadows. Now, eventually, we had to improv that scene because they couldn't really get their lines down. But you know what? That was Pirates of the University. It's all improv, people. It's all improv. It's all. That's what you got to understand. It's improv. Anywho, that was blooper number two right there, lurking in the shadows. Now, blooper number three, as I promised earlier, was from the first season as we're from the same scene. Now, this time, instead of Jack Sparrow answering the door, um, Ray had a little friend with him to uh, answer the door. So... <laughs> Uh, you can see what it, you can see who it is. All right, this is blooper number three. Doll answers. Oh, uh, fucking pedophile! All right, all right, ready and action. I came to eat your So that was blooper number three right there. As you can see, I'm doing my sort of a little impersonating there because of uh, the whole webcam situation. Now, um, we have blooper number four coming up now. Now, blooper number four is sort of, um, you'll see what I mean. It sort of matches the uh, personality of this one person that's in the scene that just takes over. Every time they're on camera, they just take over. So... Here you go. Here's the uh, uh, here's the thing. It's a uh, blooper number four. It's called uh, No Tara, thank God. Episode six, no me. Scene one, no me. <laughs> and take two with me, it'd be better. Do you think we can help? Damn <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>, you, Tara. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, you should kill her. <laughs> I was All right, ladies and gentlemen, now. Now you've seen blooper number four, that's no Tara, thank God. Now that scene right over there was kind of tough to film because you know how Tara, because we, we all know how Tara is, you know, she's conceited, she's only about, well she's not really about herself, uh, we, we just like, it's just funny that she's conceited, it's just one of those characters she plays. I, I don't think she's like that personally, but I don't know her as well as some other people. So anywho. So, here we go. Those are all four bloopers that you guys can vote on at home. Now, basically, um, if you want a recap, here you go. Here's a recap of all four bloopers that you can go check out. Hey! hey yeah! <laughs> Actually, no. But it's always good to be prepared. Uh, fuck your pet. Scene one, no me, <laughs> and take two with me, it'd be better. Alright, so basically, those are all four bloopers that you guys can vote on. Now, to vote, here, it's simple. All you have to do is go to that comments box down there, past the share, past the ratings, and all that stuff, and basically leave us a comment on which blooper you think is the best one that you do. Basically, by doing that, type in the blooper number, hit enter, and your vote is set. Remember, you can vote as many times as you want to. And voting and voting will end this Sunday at 11:59 p.m. And you can catch a brand new episode this coming Monday of Battle of the Bloopers. Anywho, on that note, you know, have a great weekend. Hope I have a restful weekend. It's gonna be hot outside. Trust me. If you're in New York, it's gonna be hot. So, basically, have fun. Uh, make sure you go to the Pirate Festival in Oyster Bay. And uh, I will see you this coming Monday at 6 p.m. All right. So long.